There are many ways in which human beings try to come to terms with time. And there are many ways in which they try to understand time. I am interested in the role language plays in these attempts, how language helps us to make sense of temporality, this essential dimension of our being in the world. My question is, what makes us capable of simultaneously having more than one experience, localizing ourselves within within more than one order of time, acting within more than one frame of meaning at the same time. That we concurrently live with multiple experiences and that we reflect on these experiences, this is part of our normal life, even if it also occurs in uh, extreme and psychopathological forms. I want to unfold the argument that it, is, that it is actually language which allows us to become aware of the multiple layers of our existence. It is language that makes us, makes us conscious of the simultaneous structures of our being in the world. Of course, language is an endless universe. The one segment of this universe, the one component I'm particularly interested in is narrative language. I believe it is narrative's reflexive and imaginative potentials that, together with other cognitive resources, evoke our most complex scenarios of simultaneity and that also enables us to consider them as it were from the outside. Take, for example, this short outline of my interests in time and narrative. When I tomorrow will look back to this moment in time, I might say, <clears throat> I should have brought up this example earlier. Indeed, I should have thought of it a day or two before. Now, this sentence that I just said, lays out a little autobiographical plot. I imagine a memory of something, something that I did, and then found I should have done it uh, differently. It comprises at least three different time levels. The present of this very moment, the future in which I anticipate this present, this memory of the present, and the past, in which I should have given some better preparation to what I do in this moment in time. Now, as you might have noticed, this short sentence unveils an amazing uh, and an astonishing temporal complexity. Try to translate uh, it into any other symbolic order, into a symbolic system, say, into a mathematical algorithm. But if I tell it, as I just did, <clears throat> as an autobiographical story, everyone understands it right away. You might even want to say, what is all the fuss about? In the linguistic and psychological form of a narrative, we effortlessly fuse together various times and possible states, real and imagined, factive and fictive. How does it work? How is it possible? And why is the resulting narrative experience of simultaneity so fundamental for the human sense of temporality? Well, these are my questions and uh, I better stop here because the story doesn't get any better, but only more complicated and messier. <laughs>